Okay, so now that you have those two programs installed, Virtual Dub and the YouTube Video Codec, you can just go get your script, drag and drop it onto Virtual Dub, and a screen like this, very similar to AVSP Mod, will pop up. You'll want to probably, you know, take a look at it and make sure that it looks alright. And go to Audio, go No Audio, unless you want it, but you're making an AMV, so it's probably going to be replaced with music. Go Video, change it to Compression. The one you'll want is UT Video Codec 420ULY0. If it ends in zero, that's the one you want. Click that, go OK. Now there's two ways to deal with your footage. One is to save the entire episode, or one is to make clips. I'm going to make clips right now, and to do that, all you got to do is go to the start of the scene that you want to uh, save. Click this first arrow here go to the end of the frame, or end of the scene that you want. I can use the arrow keys on my keyboard to just move forward. Let's say I want that. I want that, because that's a cool scene. <laughs> I can click the end arrow, okay, and it will mark off that section. So then I can just go, actually, you know what, just so that you can see it better, I'm going to go like this, mark it. Okay, so it'll highlight the area that you've marked off. Okay, but I don't really want the whole thing, I just want a tiny bit of it. You can go to File, and save as AVI. Pick a location, I'll just save it to the desktop. Let's call it clip one. Save it and it will save that tiny clip and it may take a little bit of time depending on how big your clip is, your resolution, your frame rate. There's a lot of factors that will affect how long this will take um, and how big your file is. But actually, you know what? It's gonna take up probably almost like 90 megabytes. Uh, let's go find the file right now. This one right here, if I go right click and go properties, it takes up 86 megabytes. And how long is it? Uh, it's 37 seconds. That's pretty big, okay? This is something that you need to be aware of when you're converting to an editing friendly format. They take up a large amount of space. Okay, now if you want to save the entire movie, make sure you have enough disk space to do so. I highly recommend getting an external hard drive so that you've got an extra amount of space. Like I have 1. Point, well, 1.5 terabytes of extra space. And yeah, the external hard drives aren't that, that expensive. I mean, you can pick up a, a terabyte for like a hundred bucks, which any schmuck with a part-time job can muster up a hundred bucks. But you know, it also depends on your situation too, depending on how old you are and all that stuff. So highly recommend just getting an external hard drive or making clips if you don't have the space. But if you do have the space, and you want to save the whole movie, well, what you could do is you can just uh, go to the end, select that, select this, and save it like that, or actually, an easier way is probably just to exit, drag and drop the file back onto Virtual Dub, and don't select anything, and now when you go, uh, no audio, compression, change it to that, save it as AVI, now it will just save the whole thing. Okay, and just as an experiment, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it. Let's save it to my external hard drive. Right here. See how long this takes. Might take a while. Actually, you know what? This is going to take too long. I'm not going to do this. So I decided to cancel that because uh, I realized I already have footage made. It'll probably take about, I don't know, an hour if it's a two hour movie to uh, process. But I mean, if your computer's slower, it'll take longer than that. Or if it's faster, it'll take less than that. Um, I have footage already prepared here. It's Face Day Night Unlimited Blade Works. I have two different versions. One is 480p. You can see it's huge. <laughs> it's 30 gigabytes. If I go to 720p version, it's 64 gigabytes. So you, you gotta have the disk space in order to save these files. 480p, that just denotes it's got a vertical resolution of 480 pixels in height. 720p is the same thing, except it's got 720 pixels in height. The actual resolutions in this case would be 848 by 480, and this one is 1280 by 720p. Okay, so once you have those ready, all you do, <laughs> you're, you're almost at the home stretch. There's one more video tutorial after this before you can edit. But you just take it, open up into your editor. If you don't see your timeline, you might want to just go edit, switch to timeline mode, see your timeline, drag your footage on onto the timeline, and there it is. If you want to see your footage and, and like the video window doesn't pop up, just press the V button and you can see your footage there. I'm using an external monitor so you can't really see where I'm getting that from, but then you can just scan through it and as you can see it's lightning fast. It's, it's really, really fast. Uh, if I want to do a test with 720p footage, let's do it. Let's take 
720p. It might ask you if you want to change your project settings. You want to change these all manually later, so for now I'm just going to go not adjust and make sure you watch the video tutorial on how you should adjust your settings. It will depend on your editor, but 720p footage, it's a little bit slower, but I mean, I can barely tell. So that's pretty awesome. I can make my cuts, I can make my fades, and like even at a fade, it can render that really fast. So that's how you get your footage into an editing-friendly format. In this case, we're using UT Video, and hopefully that should really help out when you're editing later on so you don't have to wait for your computer to catch up and you have a good experience making your AMV.